What is up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I am Frosho, and in the last episode we got this game started off. We talked to some of the characters, we figured out what is exactly going on, we learned some of the characters in this game. So, what we need to do now is we actually need to go get the slingshot from the store, and we also have to get the fishing rod from Colin's mom. So with those two things in mind, we gotta go ahead and go get um, Colin, go to Colin's mom first. She's right here. Her name is Yuli. Let's talk to her real quick. Oh, um, good morning to you. Did you come and get the fishing rod that Colin made? Yes, I did. I'm really sorry, but would you hear me out first? You have not seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? It's a baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such misfortune. How far could it have drifted, I wonder? Alright, so basically, as you can see, um, she's holding, um something I guessing it it I thought it was a baby but then again it's just blankets and stuff so that's what it looks like so her cradle is actually fallen into the water and it drifted all the way down here and it's way down there um, we can't actually see where it is right now but if we climb up here or we got to talk to this guy first yo Brian yo up here I want to talk to you press a while holding ZL so we can chat Oh. Alright, so this is Z targeting, or L targeting, or ZL targeting, and on the gamepad. Hey, there you go. Over here. Yeah, your voice carries well, as usual. Don't even talk. <laughs> Maybe you can teach my tykes that you've got to press A while Z L ZL targeting to talk to people from a distance. They don't get it. So listen, why don't you climb up those vines there, Bryant? Alright, so climbing vines in the original Twilight Princess was really annoying because of how slow you went. Luckily, they f sped that up, so thank you, Nintendo, for actually realizing how bad it was. Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been si just been sitting there next to my house, having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's going to catch a fish, do you? <laughs> a cat can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I wanted to you to take a look at something. See that grass growing over there on that edge of that rock? Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could hop across these rocks with just a little quick with a quick little tap of the analog stick up, couldn't you? I'm not sure exactly how I'm supposed to per se that. Alright, so we can grab this grass right here, and as you see, it looks like a little hawk. Like it looks like it has wings and everything. And so when you blow into this grass, you see exactly what happens right away. We get this little view of like the sky, and we just heard a bird, so yeah. Alright, so this grass will summon a hawk, and you can use it to throw it at things. And um, you aim this little crosshair at whatever you want to throw it at, and um, I actually have gyro controls on, so I might want to turn that off um, in the settings later. But you just aim it at something, and you can throw it and hit it. So there we go. We broke down that beehive, um, so we can actually climb up there and get some money when we need to go buy the slingshot. All right. So, if you can look over here, hold on a second, let me, like, um, try and go zoom in. Nope, that's not how you do it, that's the map. Wow. Okay, well, anyway, there is a freaking monkey down there, and we got some money, five rupees. So, what we need to do, we need to call a hawk, and then we need to get the hawk to fly over there to the monkey, because the monkey actually has the cradle. So we're going to just get the hawk and we're going to aim it right at the cradle and then the hawk will just come by and take the cradle right out of the monkey's hands and then it'll bring it to us. Alright, so let's turn around. As you can see, you can hear the monkey little um, laughing about over there. Man, gyro controls kind of suck. Come on, take it from him. There we go. Alright, so now that um, we have the cradle now, that was what we needed to do. Now, be careful to not fall into the water. If you fall into the water, then you will actually drop the cradle, and then you can't pick it up while you're in the water, so you will have to literally swim and push the cradle all the way over to Yuli. That happened the very first time I played this game, and I didn't mean to throw it right there. And so I had to literally push the cradle all the way over to her. Oh, Brian, that cradle. Did you go to the trouble of finding it for me? Thanks, you. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I'm supposed to give to you. Do you think you could carry that cradle and come back, come with me back to my house? Alright, so she walks really slow because she's a pregnant woman. She can't be going too fast. So what you want to do, you just want to 
beat her up here and just walk all the way to her house and then like it she'll automatically appear there my thanks to you right yes yes I had nearly forgotten I am supposed to give you this all right here you go you got a fishing rod a, sim a simple fishing rod with a bobber set it to Y X or R on the item screen to use it Base the water and cast and use it to cast. Press and hold the assigned button to pull the line in when you get a bite. You can go okay, blah, blah, blah. we don't have to talk about it all. It is a little unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. Alright, so basically now, um how we need to use this is that remember that guy um that was up by the grass, he said that the cat was over looking into the water like he was gonna catch a fish it's right over there actually we actually need to go fishing and catch a fish for the cat because that is actually Sarah's cat like the guy said um, the owner of the store and we that's where the slingshot is and we actually cannot get the slingshot until we get her cat back to her all right so I'm just gonna throw this into the water and then once you see the bobber go down we just need to y up too early we just need to like press the button and pull the fishing pole back, and then um, we'll just reel in the fi um, the fish that way. So let's just sit here and wait. Come on, fish, just grab it. Come on, come on, they just okay. There we go. All right, so we just need to hold the button and then just reel in the fish. All right, so we got a green gill, 11 inches. These small fry are everywhere. Alright, so this is um the most common fish that you can catch. And um in this game, all you had to do was catch one fish. Or at least in the H this version of the game, the HD remake. In the original, they made you catch two fish for whatever reason, and then the cat would take the second fish. Alright. So with that, now the cat is back at his at the store, and now we can actually go purchase the slingshot. However, we need to collect some money before we can buy it. Now I'm not sure exactly how much money it cost, but we can just go around and, like throwing these little pumpkins around and collect some money. These green rupees are worth one for any people that aren't familiar with the Zelda series. And then um, the blue ones are worth five, red are worth 20, and yellow are worth 10. There's also purple ones that are worth 50. However, those you mostly find in like chests and stuff. You don't really find those rolling around. Um, so there are a little, a bunch of little places where we can find rupees and stuff. Um, be careful, um, this guy will get mad at us for throwing these pumpkins right here. And he'll be like, oh, stop wasting food! So, um, now that we can, we've knocked down the beehive right here, we can actually climb up here, and you can actually get some bee larva from that. However, we don't have any bottles yet, so we're, we'll actually be getting our first bottle really quick soon, though. So we're just gonna climb all the way up here and just wait a long time even though they made the climbing faster in this game it's still pretty slow um at least in skyward sword you could like hop up across on the walls and stuff like that using the stamina um bar so it was climbing was much faster in that game all right so now we got a yellow rupee that's worth 10. all right so now we have 30 rupees so now there's actually a yellow rupee up on top of the mayor's house which um Hold on a second, we need to head over there, and I believe there's a ladder to help us get up there. Okay, there's a ladder right here. So, we can climb up this ladder right here. Climbing up ladders is much faster than climbing up, like, vines and walls and stuff. So, we can go up here, and then there's another ladder right here, and we can use it to just go up here. And now, um... If you want to get into that little area right there, you can't just jump up there or climb up there, obviously. We need a chicken, but we can't bring a chicken up the ladder. So what we need to do is we need to grab this grass right here and summon another hawk. Oh, and you can actually see the Triforce on Link's hand as he's using the grass, um, when he's using the horse grass or the, um, this kind of grass for the hawks. So we need to use this hawk to actually grab a chicken, and then it'll bring the chicken to us, and then we can actually f glide over to where we need to go. Alright, so let's just aim at the chicken. And the chicken is just flapping around, trying to get away. Um, the chickens actually can't escape from your hands, so don't worry about that. Just go over here. And then, yet we have more yellow rupees. Um, pick up these rocks. We have a blue rupee under this one. And we have a green one under that one. 
Alright, so I believe we should have enough money to go and buy the slingshot right now. Um, there are some little extra rupees right here. Uh, we got a couple green ones. But we should have enough to actually go buy the slingshot right now. So we're actually going to head over to the store. And we're going to go purchase that right now. Because we need it to progress in the story. Alright, so let's just go in right here. And um, I've decided that I'm going to make these videos um, 10 to 15 minutes, um, not 10 to 15, 15 to 20 minutes because when you're 100%ing this game, this game could get really long. So in order to kind of make sure that I actually get things done and progress, I'm going to be going around 20 minutes for um, each video. Oh my, Bryant, come in. Oh, you simply must hear this. My little kitty cat is so amazing. Today he caught a fish all by his little old self. I caught the fish. How do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. He didn't catch it. I caught it, and then it fell on the ground, and then he stole it. Oh, just look. Isn't he so cute the way he laps up that milk? Say, my dear, d why don't you have some, too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. All right, so here is our first bottle in the game. We have milk in a bottle, but the bottle is half empty, so we only have, like, one drink of it, because usually you can take two sips of milk. However, since it's half empty, we can only take one. Yeah, so we don't have to reuse the bottle. We'll re give her back the bottle. All right, so um, we have bee larva here. We can also buy that. You can use that as bait to um, for fishing and things. We have more milk. Um, it only re um, refills three hearts, which right now that's good because that's all we have. However, later in the game, that's not going to be such a good healing item. So we have the slingshot right here for 30 rupees, and it comes with 50 pellets. So that's what we're going to go ahead and purchase right here. What do you think you're doing? Why do you think you're doing? What do you think? I can't read today. What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? Oh, I, I, oh, I should tell you. If you happen to run out of pellets, you can use pumpkin seeds. All right, so now if we ever run out of pellets, we can just break open pumpkins and we can use those for pellets. All right, so let's head out. And then we're going to um, equip the slingshot real quick, and then we're going to go over and talk to the kids, because they're going to want to play with it, and they're going to be super jealous that we had enough money to buy it, but they didn't. So we can talk to this guy right here. This is the good-for-nothing husband. Brian, I saw all of that. Calling down a hawk? Why didn't I think of that? I was thinking of trying to knock that down myself, but you beat me to the punch, my boy. Yeah, so he was just like throwing rocks at the beehives to try to knock it down. However, that's not the best option, and if you would have actually talked to him before, he, the bees would have actually came down and st sting, um, stung him, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, oh, here's Russell right here. Hey. Ah, just in time, Brent. I delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Colin will be pleased, and it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. Alright, so he delivered something to our house. And we're actually going to go see what it is real quick. Now, we have our first enemy right here. This is a wall Tula. So, it kind of forces us to use the item as soon as we get it right there. Because you can't get up there unless you kill that enemy. Um, how did the Colin get through, though? Because the wall Tula was there unless it happened to go up there after he had already left. And Theo is complaining because he wants to get out. So, let me open the door for him. All right, I'm back, you guys. Okay, so we gotta open this chest right here, and we get a wooden sword. So basically, now we have a weapon other than our slingshot, and we can cut grass and things. So cutting, so we can get money from cutting grass, and we don't have to actually pick up the pumpkins. You can just slice them now. All right. So now we want to go over to the kids um, and show them the slingshot that we got. Ah! Brian has a slingshot! Whoa! Mm -hmm. Wow, you had enough money to buy it, Brian? Alright, so now this is basically going through a little tutorial with the slingshot. So we have all these targets right here. And we're just going to have to try to shoot all of them. And then we also have these scarecrows. We're going to shoot their heads too. <clears throat> Preparations complete. Okay, wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It's just It just shows what little boys you, you both still are. Man, I can't read. Those idiots will never shut up about it. So I guess you'll just have to show them, Brian. All right, so we got to get the slingshot out. And I don't have any kind of crosshair on it for some reason. Whoa, you hit it, you hit it. It looked like the man. It looked 
I looked at the manual in the store, and it said it's easier to hit nearby targets if you press ZL when you're aiming. I thought you weren't interested, Beth. Yeah, she's obviously interested in the slingshot. There we go. Shoot that one. And I missed. There we go. Man, I hate gyro controls. I need to turn those off in the settings. Alright, so now we can just aim at the scarecrow heads, and we can just shoot the scarecrow heads off. Whoa! Amazing, Brian! Hey, yeah. Thanks, Brian. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes now. I think we can go and do a little tutorial with the wooden sword, too. With them. Gee, you really are amazing, Brian. Yeah, you are. You can use swords and slingshots and everything. Hey, yeah, that reminds me. You've got to teach us how to use a sword, too. Seriously, let, let these monkeys have been coming out, out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. So, we have to. If you don't, then they'll just keep talking to you and won't let you do anything. So, we have to teach them how to use the sword. Alright, first off, we want to see that move. The slice. Um, you just swing B with B, right? Yeah, that's exactly what you do. You just swing, you just press B, and then that's how you do it. Wow, a horizontal slice. Was that it? That was it? I think I've seen you do a vertical slice before, too. You know, by pressing B while ZL targeting. All right, next. Oh, I want to see that other move, Brian. The other one where you just tilt up on the analog stick while ZL targeting and press B to, and to flex your muscles and stab. Oh, please. The stab? So you just um ZL target, and then you put forward on the analog stick, and then you press B, and then he just does the stab. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Since you're at it, how about you show us that other move? You know that little twirly thing that you do? I love that. What do you call it? A spin attack? It's hard to briefly hold B. Like, it's hard to <laughs> briefly hold B and release it. Wow, this baby's just slaying all these people. Alright, so that's the spin attack. And then you just hold B, and then you just let go of B, and then he spins attack. Or you could spin the analog stick and he does it too. I'm sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Hey, wait! You've got to show us the jump attack before you go. You know, the one where you go, yeah, and leap through the air? You mean the one where you just hold ZL and press A? Oh, yeah, real tough. <laughs> okay, so that's the jump attack. The strongest um, attack that we have, pretty much, really. Um, the spin attack's pretty strong, too. Well, um, that does more damage than any other attack that we do. Thanks, Brian. So, uh, I think I get it. Kind of. Hmm, maybe not. So this means that anytime one of those naughty monkeys shows up... Ah. What? And there's a monkey. And the monkey runs away. Come here, you! And this means trouble. So they run into the forest, or the Farron Woods, and obviously we can't just let these kids go away. So we have to, um, go after them. Um, and actually, I think we might need a Pona, so we're actually gonna have to hop on a Pona, and then we're gonna go out there. Um, however, we are nearing the end of this episode, so I think we're actually gonna go and catch up with them in the next episode. We see Beth right there. She was too slow for them. So, we're gonna call it an episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new here so you'll be notified whenever I make new videos. Make sure you click not mobile notifications as well. If you want to, you can go down in the description below. You can check out my friend Kofi's channel. He's the one that made the thumbnail to this video. And he's gonna be making thumbnails for future videos. He's done a really good job. He's hit 400 subscribers recently, so again, congrats to him. Hopefully he has more success in the future. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Fro Shell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.